Sin. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, go ahead and click the subscribe button. It's absolutely free. This is going to be in the sign of Sagittarius. You guys are my last fire signs. Yay! Um, but if you just scammer is going into your reading, Sag, please rep your sign down below in the comment section if this does resonate with you. And please check out the other videos on my channel. If you would like to book a full reading with me, it'll be linked down in the description box as well. So you can check out my availability. I do have an online store if you do want to shop with me. I do sell a lot of magic on my website. Um, not performative magic, but actual magic <laughs> on my website. So that'll be in the description box. If you would like to join me on Patreon where I do have exclusive content, um, I do spells and rituals over on that platform as well. And you guys do see these videos first on that platform. Um, we do spells and rituals mainly focusing on self-love, um, money, and protection. So that'll be in the description box as well. If you'd like to leave a cash app donation um, for an en energy exchange for this video, that will be somewhere on the screen. So let's get into Sagittarius. Let's see. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So we have the Four of Cups, the Eight of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups, Temperance, and the Knight of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing for you, Sag, is that there seems to be like you guys are being emotionally closed off at the moment. Um, I do also feel like if there is some sort of potential suitors or people wanting to date or get to know you, I feel like you're not open to that right now. Um, I do feel like there seems to be a little bit of, of a mental blockage as well or emotional blockage for you. A lot of you may be having to cure or heal the heart chakra or the sacral chakra because I am seeing chakras here. Um, but you're having to kind of like mend that or heal that um, or come to some sort of higher or some sort of realization about that there also seems to be like you cleansing yourself emotionally spiritually mentally any in any way but i feel like you may be cleansing yourself off or you may be trying to kind of more so get your uh, emotions back balance um there also seems to be like if there is something that is bothering you it is saying for you to vent or to open up to those who may be also around you as well if you are in a relationship i do see that there seems to be some sort of stagnancy um or just it's, it's just stagnant energy um you may feel that in the relationship or maybe the relationship is just coming to its end um i don't feel like it's coming to an end i just feel like it just needs to be revitalized um but i feel like there needs to be both effort that needs to be put in in order to do so and i feel like someone is feeling like is this even been worth holding on to um let's clarify <laughs> let's clarify because i don't want this video to be too long so for the cups just a moment card thank you yeah there just seems to be blockages um being very resistant trying to hold back there also seems to be if the mentality of it's not about my money, I don't want to hear anything else. So a lot of you may be focusing on your money or putting time and effort into your money. They're also like also going to be some sort of conversation about money or walking into rooms that are conversating about money. So this could be like you going out or you going to some sort of social event, but I'm, I'm seeing that you're walking into a situation or a room where people are already talking about money. It could be like cryptocurrency, but I'm just seeing, or even like s stocks. But I'm seeing you guys walking into rooms and that's what the com the topic of conversation is. Um, and I also feel like there is like you learning something, something new, um, something that you've never learned before. All right, let's do the Eight of Swords. All right, well, that money looks good, y'all. Money does look good. It's my camera overheated, so we're gonna look at the Eight of Swords. 
a lot of you need to um, stop self-sabotaging yourself you may be seeing or watching the glass half full watching <laughs> You're probably not watching the glass half full, but you're coming, you're seeing the world that way is what I meant. Um, I'm also seeing that there seems to be power struggles as well. Um, there also seems to be someone that may be coming towards you, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, they are also, um, this may be someone that is coming in to express themselves. Um, if they're being a little bit vulnerable or sensitive with you, I do feel like someone is also ha kept going um, between having confidence and a lack of confidence as well. Um, but I feel like you're going to be happy to hear from this person because this is something that you were expecting. Um, just be careful because I do feel like this person is coming off very emotionally manipulative or this is someone that has a lot of heavy energy or they may somewhat feel like a burden to you. Um, this may be someone that is hard to be with um because there seems to be like um manipulation that is involved all right two of cups and someone that you may be in love with is just manipulative as well and maybe you're coming to some sort of realization about that. A lot of you may decide to kind of be single and go about your separate ways. A lot of you may want to work things out. A lot of you may have been working on this for a very long time. But like, I do see like having to keep press the, pressing the reset button on a situation, a relationship. And it's it it a relationship just takes so much work out of you. And you sometimes I feel very exhausted or drained from this person because you're constantly having to put in work, constantly having to kind of make the relationship work so the, the relationship just requires so much work <laughs> and it could sometimes be draining i just feel like someone that you may be involved with this or around is just draining all right let's do the seven of cups oh my god my camera is gonna die seven of cups i feel like you guys feel like i never charge my camera i do i i promise i do <laughs> I promise they do. All right, seven of cups. Like, girl, your camera always dying. Don't judge me. Don't don't do me. Not today. <laughs> Not ever. All right. So, I do feel like you guys are trying to figure out why things keep happening when they keep happening in your life. So you're coming to some sort of realization emotionally as, as well and seeing something from a higher perspective. Um, I do feel like if you're dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius like yourself, I do feel like there's something about like repeating a cycle over and over again or just like you're trying to understand why something keeps happening over and over again. A lot of you might be looking into astrology or the metaphysical plane um to kind of figure out why that is maybe you're looking at your symmetry chart or maybe you're looking at your needle chart and trying to figure out why something keeps coming back around or why someone keeps coming back around as well i do feel like someone wants things to be back established or how they were Do you feel like your your uh, finances are going to balance balance themselves out as well? I'm seeing a bank teller. I don't know why I'm seeing a bank teller. That's random. I noticed. <laughs> I'm just seeing a bank teller. Um, I do also feel like there is like communication that does need to be worked on. You might also sever t sever communication or ties with someone as well if someone is coming in trying to kind of more so express themselves and trying to get something off of their chest i feel like you're going to allow them to do so but i feel like you're still going to decide to sever ties with them or no longer want to speak with them um this is something that you may have wished for prayed for subconsciously manifested as well maybe you may have wanted some sort of communication to come in and i do feel like it's happening for you all right knight of pentacles last card I had to have my coffee, now I'm lit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh. All right, so I do feel a lot of changes are coming in for you as well. There seems to be like you going through some sort of an emotional transformation. Um, there also seems to be you might have some sort of unfinished business with an earth sign as well. So an earth sign maybe. 
if you would like to leave me a cash app for an energy donation that'll be somewhere on this screen i love you so much sag please subscribe and i will talk to you soon bye sag hopefully this has brought you some sort of clarity again you guys please rep your signs in the comment section if you would like to book a free reading with me it'll be linked down below in the description box i do have an online store as well if you want to buy some sort of magical stuff over on my website i do have a patreon as well so join, join the tribe over there where we have exclusive content and we mainly focus on spells and rituals but we do focus on love money and protection over on that platform now um if you do want to send a cash app as a energy donation or exchange for this reading it'll be somewhere on this screen as well and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys